the other big question mark on the offense was the new receivers. They lost their top two pass catchers. Juju Smith Schuster was amazing, and he was he was uh, you know made a ton of production. But um, the qu- the concern was you know who steps up, who's the new guy, and you know will all of the new talented faces kind of uh, get together and in sync and. There's plenty of talent there. I don't think they're worried about not having targets for Darnold to throw to. They've got a ton of elite wide receivers, both old and new. Uh, They have several really good tight ends now, which is weird considering just a couple of years ago, they had, I think, one, maybe zero tight ends on the roster. Um, And they're working the running backs in the passing game too. So this actually could be, you know, there won't be necessarily a dominant stud wide receiver that like Juju Smith Schuster, but they might be able to spread the ball out very well. And in particular, uh, redshirt freshman Tyler Vons uh, is really coming on strong at the wide receiver unit. And of all the new faces at wide receiver, he seems to be making the strongest case uh, for breaking into the starting lineup. Um, because you know they've got they know Deontay Burnett's going to be good. They got Jalen Green, a couple other guys coming in, but uh, these new faces that are elite. Uh, Tyler Vaughn's is really coming on strong. Uh, Michael Pittman is also there. Pittman showed some flashes last year, but Vaughn's is really, really making a case, and so he could have a breakout year. Um, particularly if everybody focuses in on, on Deontay Burnett and his three touchdown performance in the Rose bowl and his ability to catch passes and triple coverage that doesn't seem possible. So Vaughn's Vaughn's could, could come out and come out and, and really be a big, big uh, piece to this wide receivers unit. Um, and then the, you know, the rest of the concern is just, you know, you got a lot of new faces, got everybody, get everybody in sync. And then Darnold's just got to get comfortable with, you know, where their tendencies, where do they prefer the ball? How do they prefer, you know, do they want it hard in their hands? Do they want it kind of lobbed up top? And what their catch radius is. Like, you you know, you want to match up the throwing lane you have versus whether or not the receiver can actually get to it. Um, And so it's really like, again, we know Deontay Burnett is going to be great, but all these other guys, you know, what's their catch radius? What are their preferences and tendencies? And so all of that's mostly just reps. And, you know, as that, as they do more reps and that goes along, I think that'll be fine. 